So doing bachelor's after your 12th, mm -hmm. either you have to do a preparatory course for a year here called the Studien College. Otherwise, you have to study for one year, like two semesters in India at a university. And then you can come and apply for bachelor's in Germany. German. Which is, entirely yeah. in German. So yeah, not, even, in German. not even a single word in English. No, 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 not in English. So if you don't know German, so you are not eligible to come to Germany. Right. The it. main thing to come to German is German, right? <laughs> so, yeah. Prepared for... IELTS is not required, but then there is a certificate called APS. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. still I'm 18 years old right now and I'm studying at the student college in Karlsruhe. And for the student college, you have to have at least B2. Yeah. But B2. Then it's... Yeah. When you are away from your parents, you feel responsible. Yeah, that's true. <laughs>
we are all our pampered childs i would yeah. say yeah if you are near our parents definitely we won't learn we will learn but mm-hmm. it's not the case with everyone yeah but yeah when you are away from your parents you feel responsible yeah that's true <laughs> so i would like to know about yourself firstly mm-hmm. so it would be better who you are and yeah stuff yeah so yeah i'm still i'm 18 years old right now and i'm studying at the student college in kalsroa i'm from india in karnataka from a place called udupi and yeah okay right Thank now i'm in hohenheim and i'm moving shifting to kalsroa next month in october oh yeah. nice introduction cool. thanks for nice introduction yeah uh, where did you got the motivation to do your bachelor's in engineering from whom you got this motivation mm motivation like see the universities in india have a lot of you know <laughs> exams and it's pretty <laughs> con- competitive yeah so true. you know you have to work we have to compete off, with like you have to work very hard you have to compete with 1.4 billion people yeah that's the thing and you don't <laughs> you're not sure if you'll get in or not also so that was one thing so i thought like germany is okay like even though there are a lot of students right now coming in but then yeah if you put a little efforts you will get in you will get in the best university definitely yeah. and the best uh, facilities yeah. in the world i would say yeah but the only thing you have to look is like for doing bachelors after your 12th mm. either you have to do a preparatory course for a year here called the student college otherwise you have to study for one year like two semesters in india at a university and then you can come and apply for bachelors in germany which is a three years course normally okay. and yeah so you mean uh, just after so you said you finished your 12th right mm-hmm. so can you just uh, explain about your academics what have you studied uh, during your 12th and then how many years you took for, uh, for preparation for to come here ah okay from 12th right yeah f- like so f- all your education background mm-hmm. so uh, i studied at 12th at my home place and yeah i studied in the field of science okay uh inclusive of computer science so it was physics chemistry maths and computer science mm-hmm. after completing my uh 12th after getting my you know hsc certificate mm-hmm. i studied german like i had already started german when i was in 12th mm-hmm. when it started so for a year i had started a1 and a2 like for 3 4 months then i left it because to study for the academics of 12th and stuff but then i started it after you know 2 3 months like in june so then from june till december i completed from b1 till b2 i revised a1 a2 and completed till b2 and then i wrote my exam in december so when did you started preparation exactly is after your 11th or no like in between in 12th like during august like pretty it okay. starts uh, the university starts in uh, normally it starts in june right okay. in india yeah, yeah. everything so i started in august like i was researching stuff like what and all you have to complete mm-hmm. the main thing to come to german is german right so <laughs> yeah and for the student college you have to have at least b2 but b2. then it's rem- rec- yeah b1 is enough for some university but to get a you know good uh, confidence or you know good hold of german you have to study b2 and it's recommended that you study till c1 c1 yeah okay. because most uh, If you have C1 you'll have a lot of vocab and stuff and yeah, you know true. good command and you have a high chance of passing the exam so mode of teaching here is in english or german mode of teaching for us in the preparatory college who yeah. want to do bachelors in germany is german german entirely yeah. in german so yeah, not even in german. not even a single word in english no no no, no not in english so if you don't know german so you are not eligible to come to germany that's it right no, for bachelors no, no. yeah it it's pretty like a prerequisite for universities and also for for the me. visas and other procedure like you have to have a language certificate for visa also okay so it's a prerequisite for visa and prerequisite for university shortlisting as well you can't yeah. uh, enter into any university without yeah. the german language proficiency mm-hmm. Oh, that's good information. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to do bachelor's, the f- first thing you have to do is to prepare for German language and finish the certifications like up to B2 or C1, right? This is first mandatory thing that yeah. they should focus on. It's better on. that to do till C1, okay? C2. Because yeah. 
because uh, in Karlsruhe, the student cling which I'm studying in, has a you know thing called if you study C1, then during your FSPs, you have to not study like write you the German exam and stuff. So yeah, yeah. yeah. You had German proficiency till your B2. Yeah. Then you are good to go. And then uh, is it necessary to do your IELTS as well? No, IELTS. it's not required. IELTS is not required, but then there is a certificate called APS. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. so you have to get it done. Like, okay. uh, f there is an exam called TESTAS. Mm. You have to write that. And then after you get that certificate, you have to apply for APS with all the other documents which they have mentioned in their text checklist. So without TESTAS, you are not eligible to apply for APS? Yeah. No, uh, yeah. Pretty much. So you have to uh, go through this exam and then you have to apply for APS. Yeah. After uh, completion of your 12th. After 12th, yeah. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. And uh, let's talk about the university and course selection. Yeah. Okay. So, the, um, okay, you're pretty fine with all your prerequisites, I guess. Yeah. You had all the requirements, whatever you want to further your studies in Germany. So now it's very challenging to do find out the universities I'd mm -hmm. say because we don't have any knowledge about the universities here and how is the education system here yeah. you know it's pretty challenging right yeah then how did you tackle the that situation like how uh, did you shortlisted the universities and how did you choose the course firstly course like I was interested in computer science from the beginning like okay. before I decided to come to Germany I knew that Computer science is the thing which I have to do. So you have narrowed it down to the yeah. right to yeah. computer science. Yeah. So then, like after I got to know about Germany and research stuff, uh, I was in like I got into some WhatsApp groups and watched many YouTube videos too. Hmm. So yeah, I got a pretty much idea of how Germany is and how the university stuff works. So and I even had some friends like Ooh. from my area who came to Germany. So. For and who have also come with me, yeah. Oh, they are also so, coming with you now. No, no, they have already come. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I knew stuff from them. And, yeah. So, so they are also in studying in the student college. And, yeah, that was pretty helpful for me. That makes your life very easy. Yeah. <laughs> I guess. When so you have someone, you know, it's like correct, correct. you can do stuff like even if you don't know, you can ask them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they have gone through those things, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. So, you have shot. So, finally, of course. You said uh, course selection is not a challenging for you, but mm -hmm. because you already had a, you already yeah. decided that yeah. I want to pursue computer science. Yeah. But what about the universities and uh, universities? Yeah. Yeah. Actually, see, I plan to do my bachelor's, and I'm studying in the student college right now. So to apply for the bachelor's, you have to do a student college that is called a preparatory course. Okay. In English for a year, mm -hmm. or else you have to study for a year in India in any university and then apply for, you know, uh, the German uh, universities here in Germany, mm. public yes, universities. So you have to apply for any universities after you complete your student college and then it's like after completing one year in India, you're done. Like, you completed your prerequisite. But then you have to study German, like, you have to check their website, like how much level of German they require. Uh, so no. based on that, you have to study German. Okay. Uh, but my, my question was, how did you select the universities? Ah, okay. <laughs> How did you? For example, you might have uh, applied for many universities, right? Yeah. So, I how did applied. you came to know that this is the university that I have to study, that I want to study? Mm -hmm. How did you? Like, how did you shortlist the universities? Like, see, we, uh, I was in some WhatsApp groups. Okay. And they had some PDFs, like, ah. the uni which universities have these courses, okay. like the student colleague. I'm studying in the student colleague, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So to apply to universities is pretty easy in Germany, but then the student colleague courses, you have to apply to the university, then they, most of the university register you to the student colleagues there in their area. Hmm. So there are three courses. Yeah. I'm studying the T course and there are even other courses, you know, V course, G course and more. So yep, the course that I am taking, take course, is pretty much like technical stuff, like mm -hmm. engineering and other computer science and other degrees. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, the students who are applying to these courses are being sent to take course. But then to study at a student college, you have to write an entrance exam called the Aufnahmeprüfung. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 
So the Aufnahme proofing is pretty much easy. Most of the universities have just a German test okay. and maths. Mm -hmm. So you have to look at their Beispiel test, like what scope of you know what syllabus it This? covers. Mm -hmm. Basically, it's just 11th, 12th, and 10th stuff. Maths. So ah okay, you mean every university has an entrance exams? No, the student college. Yeah, every student college has an entrance. What is exam. student college? Adil? It's the preparatory course, like college. Preparatory course for college. Yeah, for bachelors. Okay. You need to, you know, if you have done just two IELTS in India, yeah. you need to make up for it, like by attending a preparatory course for a year. Only okay. then you are like align uh, with the yeah, uh, align with the course, and you know, you know, pretty much. So this preparatory course is different for different courses, right? Or else, is the preparatory course is same for all the courses? Preparatory course. For example, no, it's different. Like uh, if you are taking uh, bio and stuff, it's a different uh, course. Like it's called, uh, it's there's a name for that course. Okay. But then yeah, but the course which I'm studying is technical and stuff, so it's take course. Mm -hmm. And there's a Wissenschaft course called V course, so that's for you know commerce people and stuff. Mm -hmm. And there's G course that is for you know bio people. Yeah. Got it. We have three introductory courses. Mm -hmm. One is TA course, which is all about you have to. Uh, if you want to do your studies in computer science, you have to do T course. That is TA course in Germany. Mm -hmm. If you want to do your uh, further your uh, bachelor's in science field, you have to do your G course. What is G course? We call it G. Yeah. In German. And if you have to do your further your studies or bachelor's in economics fields and you know finance uh, aspects like that, if you you have to do your preparatory course as V course. Yeah. The, that is W. We call it yeah. V. <laughs> so that's the thing. Yeah. And to write, to get into these preparatory courses, you have to write an entrance test, mm. which is German. For the T course, it's German and maths. And in some universities, there's even physics. But then it's pretty basic. Oh. So before uh, proceeding to the introductory course, you have to give an exam for this. Yeah. Oh. An entrance test. Still, exam there is called a the Aufnahme Prüfung. Aufnahme Prüfung. Yeah. So and that is a thing. Okay. Yeah. Maths and physics. Maths mostly is you know, mostly it's just German and maths. But then some uh, one or two universities have even physics. But then physics is easy. Just learn some basic stuff. And German, you, there are look-in tests like the fill in the blank stuff. Ah. Like they give a, a paragraph, okay. and then there are fill in the blanks. Okay. So based on the German, you know, grammar, grammar and got it. Uh, vocab. I understood. So I you understood. have to just fill in the blanks. Mm -hmm. So there is, there are even uh, study materials for this stuff called Mucho Luca, B1, B2. So you okay. have to solve this stuff. No matter, you know, how much. Uh, German language you have B2, B1, so it doesn't or matter. C1. It does not matter. The trick is like you have to know how to solve these things. Like, mm. yeah, there are some tricks. So when you Got solve it. it, you'll just get it. You know. I understand. It's so, like yeah. a logical thinking or something. Yeah, it's like you can say that, but it's recommended that you study till C1 mm. because it's very helpful for some universities. But then when you, even if you can't, like if there are some Got things it. and you cannot study till C1, then At least do B2, so then it will be helpful, and mm. you can solve this like much local tests easily. Got it. Yep. Nice. Okay, maybe we can change the location. Yeah. Okay. <laughs>